Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also manually create a blank pivot table that you can then customize as desired. To do this, click the Insert tab in the ribbon and then click the Pivot Table button that appears within the Tables button group. You will then see the Create Pivot Table dialog box appear. Within this dialog box, you must first select the source of data for the pivot table within the Choose the Data that you want to analyze section. If you choose the Select a Table or Range option button, then click the Collapse and Expand dialog box button at the right end of the Table and Range field to collapse the dialog box down to a single line. You can then click and drag over the cell range or Excel table that you want to use as the data source for your pivot table. You can then click the same Collapse and Expand dialog box button again to expand the dialog box when you have finished selecting the data cells within your workbook. Alternately, if you want to use a named table as your data source, you can also simply type the name of the table into the table range field instead of manually selecting the cell range reference. You could also type an absolute cell range reference into the table range field if desired instead of manually selecting the cell range. If you select the Use an External Data Source option button, then click the Choose Connection button to open the existing connection dialog box. Within the existing connections dialog box, you will see any connections that are available. You can use the Show drop-down that appears at the top of the dialog box to select the All Connections choice if needed. That will then display all data connections within your workbook, computer, and network within three separate sections within this dialog box. You can select the data connection that you would like to use for your pivot table from the connection shown within this dialog box, and then click the Open button to return to the Create Pivot Table dialog box. If you would like to use Excel tables from your workbook's data model, click the Tables tab at the top of the existing Connections dialog box and select either the individual tables to use or simply select the data model itself. Then click the Open button to return to the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Next, you must choose the location where you want to place the pivot table from the options shown within the Choose Where You Want the Pivot Table Report to be Placed section. You can select the New Worksheet Option button to place the pivot table into a new worksheet. You can select the Existing Worksheet Option button to select a location within an existing worksheet. If you select this option, then you can either enter an absolute cell address location into the Location text box, or you can use the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the field to collapse the dialog box down to a single line so that you can click on the cell that you want to select within an existing worksheet. You can then click that same button again to expand the dialog box when you're finished. Note that the cell that you enter or select will become the upper left corner of the pivot table. Next, if you want to add your selected data to an internal data model used by your Excel workbook, then check the Add This Data to the Data Model checkbox. This will add the selected table to the data model within your Excel workbook. In Excel 2013, you can store and relate data from multiple tables within a data model, which you can then manipulate and analyze using pivot tables. When you're finished, click the OK button to create your new pivot table. After you've created a pivot table, you will then see the Pivot Table Fields task pane appear at the side of your workbook window. In the Pivot Table Fields pane, you will see the information from your data source. You can change the values displayed within the pivot table by using the Pivot Table Fields task pane. You can check the checkbox next to each field in the Choose Fields to Add to Report section that you want to add to the pivot table.
Now if you check a field, Excel will add that field into one of the four quadrants that are shown in the Drag Fields Between Areas Below section at the bottom of the task pane. For pivot tables, these quadrants are named Filters, Columns, Rows, and Values. At that point, you can click and drag the fields shown from one quadrant to another based on what function or layout you want the pivot table to show. Note that fields that are placed into the Values section are calculated using the SUM function by default. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.